Haystack is an open source framework for building large language model applications. And as such, it will always remain open and free. So it's permissively licensed. You can just use it uh, for commercial projects as, as well as research. And we don't see a point in actually going a different direction and closing that off because we believe in that power of the open source community. And even with large language models, you can already see that. So ChatGPT might be closed source and OpenAI doesn't give a lot of information about um, how this new model is actually trained. But then you see all the, you see this wave of open source models emerging like Alpaca, like Dolly, like Llama, like all these models that emerge, um, which are trained by, by a great community of researchers, of startups, um, some greater enterprises as well. And what we're seeing here is the start of the commoditization of large language models. In a few years, a large language model will not be the differentiator anymore. It will be commoditized. It's something that you can buy either from that company or from that other company. Um, it's something that you might get open source. And um, your work then will be in finding out how to apply that language model to your specific problem and how to um, basically uh, mix and match it with other components to build the application you want to build. And that's what Haystack does. So in Haystack, we are model agnostic, we are provider agnostic. You can have all of these components in Haystack and just change them. So let's say you start with a model from OpenAI, a new open source model is released. You want to um, try that out, you can do that. And for enterprises trying to manage risk, I think that's ideal because in the end, do they really want to be locked in into, the, into a single model provider? And what do they do if the next company comes up with a better model and um, their competitors are out competing them because they cannot switch, they're too locked into the old ecosystem. So if you want to manage that risk, definitely pick a pick a software framework that allows you to experiment with different models that allows you to switch components.